Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord and welcome you to Monday, the 5th day of February, 2024. We're looking today at the topic, Operation of the Spirit of Faith. The Bible says, we having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. Thought for the day, the spirit of faith is indeed in order to see results that are bigger than your size. The Bible makes it very clear that one of the functions of the Holy Spirit is the operation of faith. That is why the Holy Spirit is also called the Spirit of Faith. What is the operation of the Spirit of Faith? The Spirit of Faith imparts ease, believability in God and His Word. Where the spirit of faith is at work. Believing God and his work, word is very easy. When the spirit of faith is at work, you believe the incredible and you say the unsayable. Let's give you an example. The first time we went to the national stadium in Abuja in Nigeria to hold a crusade in 2007, people were afraid and they said, would the stadium be filled with people? Can they all come? Will it be filled? In fact, people were afraid for for us, for God's servant. But he was not afraid for himself. When the crusade held, the people outside the stadium were almost half of the capacity of the stadium. The place was massively overwhelmed with people. Praise the Lord. You see, when the spirit of faith is at work, you see the results before you make the attempt. More than 20 years ago, we were in Makodi in Benue State for a crusade. And God's servant saw a woman with two crutches. He saw her walking on her feet already in his mind's eye before he collected the crutches from her. Beloved, you need this spirit of faith because without faith, it is impossible to please God. He that comes to God must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hebrews 11, 1 to 5. The spirit of faith is needed in order to see results that are bigger than your size. Praise the Lord. Always remember this, that the spirit of faith is needed in order to see results that are bigger than your size. I see that spirit of faith going to work on your behalf today in Jesus' name. What's our assignment? Ask God for the impartation of the spirit of faith. And secondly, feed on the word to stir up your faith. And thirdly, take practical action steps to activate your faith. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I ask, that you baptize me afresh with the spirit of faith. Deliver me from unbelief and help me to work and walk by faith in Jesus' name. Praise God. I pray for you today and I pray that the spirit of faith begin to become evident and manifest in your life in Jesus' name. You want to make your ways right with Jesus? You want to be born again? This is a good opportunity to do that. Simply pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I'll live to please you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. The Lord bless and keep you and cause his face to shine on you in Jesus' name. And I want to pray for you. It's your birthday today. I wish you a very happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name, happy birthday to you. I want to specially wish my dear mother, Pastor Mrs. Faith Oyedepo, happy birthday. Mama, we celebrate you. We love you. We see light as we follow your light. You've been an example. You've been an inspiration. You've been a role model. And you will ever remain my spiritual mom. I love you. And I pray that God gives you a special birthday gift this year in Jesus' name. God bless you, Ma. We love you. If I may say, God bless you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ma.